What's going on guys, Zach here, and welcome to another Zach Talks. Today I wanna to talk about the steps in developing a game, right? Some of these should be pretty obvious, but I really wanted to break it down, and when I actually broke it down, uh, creating my game, it helped me a lot, and it really gave me sort of a timeline of what I need to go through, right? So there's five steps in it. You're gonna go through the uh, prototype stage, the uh, project startup phase, the alpha stage, the beta stage, and then the uh, pre-release stage. And all these projects aid you in creating the game. And uh, so let's go into the first stage, uh, which is the prototype stage. I made a video about this uh, a couple days ago on my uh, creating your first game video. And it talked about prototype and how important prototyping is because like here, prototyping is the first stage of game design. And if you can't get first that, but if you can't get past that first stage, then uh, why waste your time with all the other uh, all the other stages, you know? And that's where a lot of the indie developers get kind of mixed up with because of the fact that they, you know, start in sort of like a beta or alpha stage when they should be starting, you know, at the starting line, not the middle. And uh, so the prototype stage, what you want to do is you want to get a game. That uh, or a game idea that you think will work, and uh, prototype it. Right? It doesn't just make just make your own temporary art. You know, you don't need to be spending time on it. Uh, what you really do in the prototype is the proof of concept. Will this idea work? And if you can get this idea to work through the prototype, then you've already got a solid basis uh, for the next steps. And you know, if you wouldn't build a tower. Uh, on you know uh, a, a sand uh, lot for an analogy I guess uh, you know you wouldn't you want to build it on nice concrete and then you can start building up from there so the prototype stage the proof of concept the proof of your game idea and uh, how that how that will all go about so after you get past the prototype phase right you've got a great game idea um, you know it works well what you want to do now is enter the project startup phase and this basically is okay all the details of the game you want to have uh, uh, written down a full design document for your game you want to go through how the graphics will look how the sounds will play how the gameplay will play if it's a puzzle game what, what sort of puzzles and how can I get the most out of this idea if it's you know a uh, 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 Call of Duty FPS type game, you know, okay, you know, what guns do I have in it? You know, what sort of perks and all that stuff, you know, obviously you wouldn't copy a Call of Duty game like that, but just as an example, all right? So you really want to, that's really your design phase of it. The prototype phase is nothing but just the mechanic of it. And, you know, every game should have its own little mechanic that makes it unique if you're going to want to go out and uh, uh, produce this on a large scale. So the project startup phase, one of the most important stages, and I think you should spend the most time on that stage because that is going to be everything you need for the upcoming stages. So after you get through the project startup phase, the next phase you want to go through is your alpha stage, right? So the project startup, you've gotten everything done, you've gotten everything sort of finalized on what you, the final game will look like on paper. So now that you need, now you need to transfer from paper onto the actual game screen, and that's the alpha stage, right? So alpha stage, get everything in. Um, you know, it still might be missing some content, but the at the end of this alpha stage, what you want to have basically is your game sort of in full. So you know, alpha stage, you're not going to be releasing it to anybody yet. Maybe you know some friends or family that to play the game now. Uh, as they did in the prototype phase. The alpha stage will still be missing art, will still be missing, you know, features that aren't key features. So all the key features in the game, you know, if you had a Call of Duty type game, you know, you may be missing two or three extra guns that will be in the game. But most of the guns are there, um, uh, most of the maps are there, most of, you know, everything is basically there. So once you've got that alpha stage, now you're really starting to see the game come alive in person and you're able to play it out and do all these things with it. So once you get past the alpha stage, then you're gonna move into the beta stage where you're really gonna finalize all the art, you're gonna finalize all of the features in the game, and, well, not, not finalize, but uh, implement these features. I'm sorry. And uh, 
get that out there and then you want to release it to a couple people that are uh, uh, non-biased and see what they think of it you know if if there's a flaw in the game design if there's a flaw in the game mechanics um, you know if there's bugs of course I mean, there's gonna be plenty of bugs uh, no matter no matter what you're creating there's always gonna be bugs and you're gonna have to uh, sort of go off of what these testers say about the game and change things around once that's complete and you've got the beta stage and you should be at the beta stage for you know a couple weeks of having these people uh, play test it now it's up to you based on the scale of the game that you want to produce how long and how many testers should actually be playing this game but you know it's roughly like I said gonna take a couple weeks to do and that's completely fine so once you're done with the beta stage, you know, you, you've gotten to this point where people uh, have played it, people like it, people have given you their input, you've fixed a lot of the bugs, then you're going to go into the pre-release stage of the game. And this is really just polishing the heck out of it. And this, for me at least, was the most time-consuming part because the last thing you want to do is release something with bugs or, you know, sort of, uh, you know, design flaws or something like that and so you're just gonna have to play the game over and over and over and over and over again along with your beta testers to really figure out and find every little stitch of detail that can be fixed so to go over a couple of the steps that we just went over it's the prototype stage we've got the project startup phase the alpha stage the beta stage and then your final details pre-release stage and follow these steps and it really helped me uh, even though it may be obvious even just going and breaking them down for you and I know for me uh, it it really did help so leave a like go and subscribe let me know what you guys think if you like more of these videos and um, stay tuned for next time peace